Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Root Beer here, uh, welcoming you back to more of the 2016 Manitoba Math Contest. So we're looking at question eight here. Very simple. No, no parts of this one. Let a sub k be equal to. We've got a weird looking. It's not quite a rational fraction necessarily, but we got one over square root two k minus one plus square root two k plus one. Okay, bit of a mouthful, but well, that's fine. Determine n so that a1 plus a2 plus a3 all the way up to plus a n is equal to 8. So that's interesting. Let's let's take a closer look at uh, like a1, a2, and see if we can better understand these numbers here. So we'll grab our notepad. I'm going to copy down the formula just so I don't have to keep bouncing back and forth. Root 2k minus 1 plus root 2k plus 1. All right. So if that's the case, then a1 is 1 over uh, root 2 minus 1 plus root 2 plus 1, which is 1 over 1 plus root 3. Not the nicest of number to work with, but that's okay. 2 would be, a2 would be root 3 plus root 5, okay, uh, I'm not going to bother trying to simplify him right now, what would a3 look like, a3 would be, well, it'd be 1 over 2 times k, 2 times 3 is 6, so we'd have root 5 plus root 7, so these numbers are appearing in a predictable way, but they're not the easiest things to add, you know, I'll keep root 1 here instead of just 1 for a moment. I mean, if I were to add just a1 and a2, this is going to be a nightmare because we need a common denominator, don't we? And I can't use my calculators. Calculators are not allowed on this contest. So now when I start doing something like this, we're in even bigger trouble. Now, what this, uh, this sort of sum reminds me of because so you notice we got a root 3 here and a root 3 here. And we have a root 5 here and a root 5 here. And then we'd have a root 7 here and a root 7 in the next one, assuming we needed the next one. I don't know, maybe this adds up to 8 already. So this, this reminds me of something called a telescoping sum. And it's something, it, it's basically something like this. You, you do sort of 1 minus 2 plus 2 minus 3, plus 3 minus 4, plus 4 minus 5. So this is a telescoping sum because the minus 2 here and the plus 2 here cancel. The minus 2 here and the plus 3 here cancel. But you'll notice, um, you, we don't have minus signs, but you'll notice that the same sort of numbers are repeated uh, a couple times. One per different expression. And so ultimately those numbers don't matter and you get 1 minus 5 in the end. So the whole thing sort of collapses like a, a pirate telescope that you would see to spy land. But for something like this to collapse, we need minus signs. We need a minus to match up with a plus. A minus 2 matching up with plus 2. Minus 3 matching up with plus 3. I don't have any minuses here. And they're all in the denominator. But this does at least sort of trigger my memory of sort of telescoping sums. Is there a way to re-express these fractions with telescoping sums? I think if we rationalize the denominator, so ak is 1 over, well not rationalize, no rationalize would work, 2k minus 1 plus root 2k plus 1. Now that's the same as if we multiply it by 1. Okay? Multiplying by 1 never changes the number, but 1 can come in many different forms. So I'm going to use sort of a difference of squares thing here. Right, 2k plus 1 minus 2k minus 1. So now when I multiply it through, on the top we get, uh, you know, our, our, our roots move to the top, but look, we've got a minus sign here. And on the bottom, what do we have? Well, it's a difference of squares. It's a plus b times a minus b. So we get squares, and now these square roots go away. We get uh, 2k plus 1 
minus 2k minus 1. So the top, not going to alter him for uh, uh, at all. Uh, we've got a, we've got the difference. We've got the minus of something that we need. And now 2k plus 1 minus 2k is just 1. Minus a negative 1 is 2. So this is what all our ak's look like. And so now, a1 plus a2 plus a3, yada, 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 looks like, we'll even do up to am, this looks like root 3 minus root 1 all over 2, plus root 5 minus root 3 all over 2, plus root 7 minus root 5 all over 2. And it keeps going like this uh, to root 2n plus 1, minus root 2n minus 1 all over 2. And we want this to be equal to 8. Well, that's the same as if we uh, got rid of all the 2s and made this 16. But look what's left now. We've got a telescoping sum. So the root 3 here and the minus root 3 go away. The root 5s go away. The root 7s go away. And we keep going. And then the... Uh, root 2n minus 1s go away. And now we're left with 2n plus 1, or root 2n plus 1, minus root 1 is equal to 16. All right, so, uh, well, this, this guy here is 1. So we get root 2n plus 1, and bring the minus 1 over to the other side, is equal to 17. Square both sides. We'll get 2n plus 1 is equal to 17 squared is 289. So 2n is 288, and it's going to be 144. We've got our final answer. We've justified it. If you want to sprinkle in some explanations, you know, rationalize the denominator, that sort of thing, that would be fine. You want to mention telescoping sums or telescoping series, that's great too. But all the essentials are there, and that does it for question, uh, question 8. Oh, we're making great headway. Uh, we'll really take a look at question 9 in the next uh, next video, and then it'll be off to question 10, our very last question. So thanks for joining me, and uh, look forward to a future video where we do more of the 2016 Manitoba Contest.